need to have more open source Android applications, then check this out. I use offline music player applications a lot and when it is free and open source, I even love it better. No ads and boring UI. And this one called Pulse Music is one that suits my style perfectly. It has access to your library to be able to play all types of songs. You have these four buttons which are for songs you've made favorites, recently played songs, track picker to manually enter your phone storage to select a particular song, and then the shuffle button which creates a playlist of random songs. And of course, you get to create a new playlist and also the app has a sleep timer. The app interface is very cool and clean and minimal and still has more customization options in the settings. The now playing screen also has two additional styles to choose and apply and not forgetting the simple music minimal widget this application comes with, which is also customizable. So check out Pulse Music if you love free and open source music player applications. Recently, I showed you an application called Fast Lyrics, which automatically generates lyrics for any song you are currently playing on your phone. Now, similar to this application is called Rush. Well, with this application, you can search for lyrics to any song on the internet, whether you have it currently playing on your phone or not. And I prefer this to Fast Lyrics because this can actually find the accurate lyrics to any song you search, unlike Fast Lyrics, which searches based on the current music you are playing. So if it is an offline music, probably with a slightly different title, Fast Lyrics will not be able to find the right lyrics to the song. Rush works both ways, automatically listening and filling in with the lyrics or you manually searching for it. It works with the help of Genius Lyrics, which is one of the best websites that contains lyrics to billions of songs on the internet. The app stores every search you've made and also allows you to select and share part of the lyrics made in an awesome card to your social media stories or status, or even share with friends. If you have interest in keeping records of the little details in your daily life, you can use this application called Daily Counter to take control of this. So let's say you want to take records of many times you take in water daily, or take breaks from work, or even not to forget how many times you fed your pet. This application makes login very simple. Just tap the plus button to add the activity, and once you make progress, you just tap the plus button to add that record. And on a user-friendly UI such as this application comes with, it makes the experience with the app very appealing and makes you come back to it every time. You can check the accumulated record of a particular activity by day, week, month or in total, and you can also check out the entire records of all activities combined. Overall, this is a very decent application to help you take control of your daily habits to improve and also to quit some bad ones. Moving on to this tool application, Taskbar is a very useful application which contributes to the 100 mode agenda of Android smartphones. With the application installed and enabled, it brings a dock containing 10 recently opened applications, which stays hidden until you bring it on the screen by tapping on the little arrow at the bottom corner of the screen. This makes it easier to access other applications without leaving your current screen and of course this is similar to entering the recent apps tab but this application has made it very quick and simple and also adds to a better Android user experience. More to this application, it has a menu button which once you tap on it will bring up your app drawer in a mini window also without leaving your current screen. So this makes it even far better. You can customize every feature this application brings including in the icon pack, the menu button icon, the start menu grid and position, you can increase or decrease the number of applications to show on the taskbar and so much more settings. Next application, Save on Device is a free and open source application which adds a save to device option to any share menu in any application which allows you to save various files to your device, including audio recordings from charts, documents from scanner applications, even WhatsApp profile picture, since you cannot download it by default. So many more places where this application can be very useful. The app, once installed, stays in the background and serves its purpose. You cannot make any settings or whatsoever. I'll actually recommend it to you if you haven't tried it already. You can continue to watch more of my open source Android application videos by clicking on the card at the top right corner or in the video at the end screen. Also, suggest some very useful open source applications you use daily 
and I might check it out and also give you a mention in subsequent videos as well. If you enjoyed this one, then consider subscribing to the channel, like and share the video, and as always, thank you for watching.